This is a 58-year-old lady with a past history of uterine fibroid bronchiectasis and right adrenal and incidentoma. It is an incidental finding on CT forex in October this year for a workup of hemoptysis, a 2 times 2.8 times 2 cm enhancing soft tissue mass with smooth mucosal outline in gastric cardia, suspicious of some mucosal tumors such as GIS. Hemoglobin is 14.8 with no GI bleed symptom. OGD was done last month. It found at anterior wall of proximal lesser curve, there is a 2.5 cm submucosal lesion with intact overlying mucosa, it's also suspicious of a gist. This is the CT scan of this patient showing the lesion. The plan today is for EUS and fine needle biopsy. Hello. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Zendin from Wuhan Union Hospital. It's my pleasure to get an invitation uh, for this meeting. And uh, I think it's more pleasure to me to work with the uh, Professor Raymond Tong. He's a very uh, professional in US. And uh, just uh, as the report showed, this uh, patient's uh, CT scan show uh, a mass in stomach, and uh, we can see uh, use the uh, EGD and it showed uh, a mass in the uh, less curvature of the stomach. And uh, I think this is uh, uh, obvious uh, SMT, right? And uh, I, I think the US is uh, useful to differenti uh, differentiate, uh, differentiating the diagnosis of uh, SMT uh, because it can find the uh, or originating layer of uh, the region. We can we can show the uh, US image. Okay, this is the US image. And uh, this is a hypo, uh, hypo aquatic region. And uh, we can see the originating layer. Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay, you can see here. Uh-huh. Can I use the, oh, oh, okay. Okay, we can see this is the submucosal sub layer and uh, this is the first layer. So this, uh, uh, this region is uh, uh, originates from the, the first layer. And uh, uh, in this layer, the SMT, uh, the sus uh, suspatic diagnosis uh, include uh, a gist or leiomyoma. And uh, we can use the uh, Doppler to show it's the Blood flow. Dr. Ding, how, how large is the lesion? Okay. I can measure the, I'm oh sorry. I think it's a two, it's about a two centimeter, the diagram. Di di Diagram. Okay. And uh, we use the flow to to see. You can see uh, is uh, uh, this region is a hypervascular region, and uh, you can see uh, surrounding vessels here. So this is a, a, a hypoacoic uh, region uh, located in the first layer and uh, with the uh, hypervascularity. So I think the suspect, uh, suspect, uh, suspected diagnosis should be gist. And, uh, but uh, uh, my opinion, I think my opinion cannot replace the uh, cytohistochemistry, uh, cytohistological examination. Mm. So we plan to do the f uh, fine needle uh, aspiration or biopsy, yeah. Yes. So, so, so the lesion is quite close to the liver. Uh, no. Uh, so maybe they are uh, adjacent to, but not touching the liver. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Originating yeah. from the liver. So. I agree because the border is very clear. Yes. There is uh, definitely a outside, like a capsule, like a layer around the. So today, uh, Professor Ding uh, 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 chose a, um, 
a protocol needle for a histological diagnosis. And I think sometimes cytological diagnosis could be difficult for this type of lesions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, uh, it, uh, maybe it's, uh, it's just, uh, so I think the histo, uh, histological staining is, uh, is necessary, uh, is, a, is a kind of secret positive tumor. So we have to get uh, the adequate uh, tissue sample. And uh, so we choose, uh, I just uh, discussed with the, uh, Professor Raymond, and uh, we choose the uh, 20 kg needle, 20 kg protocol needle. This needle is a uh, uh, protocol needle, so it can do the FMB. And uh, is uh, I think is uh, another uh, advantage is uh, is more flexible, so it can can use uh, al almost uh, all kinds of region, even in the duodenum. So, and uh, because this uh, this region is uh, hypervascular, so. Uh, we think uh, we do the FMB just uh, uh, by the one or two passes, because uh, I have a little worried about the bleeding, post-procedure bleeding. Okay. So you can see a lot of uh, uh, vessel. It's a little uh, hard. This the this region is yeah. Needle could get slippery on the surface, but uh, yeah. maybe you're partially in, so. Yeah, you should be able to. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Okay. So I remove the stylet. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Okay. Sorry. Uh, because uh, uh, this this region is, uh, I think, uh, the, uh, there are high risk of bleeding, so we don't use the uh, we we do the FMB without any suction. But uh, before the start, uh, uh, two hundred from uh, can you give me the syringe? Yeah, 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 suction. yeah, yeah, suction. Yeah. Okay, because uh, uh, but uh, before the starting, we we have to to check is there uh, any bleeding. If low bleeding, so we uh, close the suction. Then we do the uh, FMB, okay? Two and flow motion. Uh, Dr. Ding, at your hospital, um, um, do you have on-site uh, uh, cytopathologists uh, with you? No, <laughs> because I think uh, in uh, almost the all, all Chinese hospital, the uh, on-site on cytology is not uh, available, mm. because uh, the pathologist uh, pathologist is uh, is uh, uh, also very very busy, mm. so. Is 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 very difficult mm. to to get the onsite help from him. Um, how many passes uh, w uh, would you plan to perform here? Uh, I think the uh, according uh, depend on the, the the result of the first pass. If we can see the uh, some white tissue or core, uh, maybe we I think one one pass maybe is okay. But if uh, if the tissue sample is not uh, adequate, maybe we we have to do the second uh, puncture. 
All right, so thank you very much, uh, Donald Ding, for an excellent demonstration. Okay, thank you. <laughs>